gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, thank you. This is a general collective read. A read for all signs. If you, does not matter what your birthday is, baby, you are welcome here. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit ScorpioPriestess.com. Com. It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. If you would like to um, visit my TikTok, it is Scorpio Priestess 222, and I have daily general collective reads there as well. So let's hop right into this energy. Oh boy, do we have some energy. I asked the divine who was coming towards the general collective. Psychopath. Anger issues, somebody here with lack of empathy, anger issues, lack of empathy. They, they really can't see other people's side of the story. They're only concerned about their own. They're only concerned about their side of the story. Um, they're unreasonable. They only see things in one way. Do you see how this is going here? This person has always, um, it was their way or the highway. There was no um, coming to agreements with this person. It was what they wanted or nothing. And that's that. They're hiding something too. This person's coming towards you, but hiding something at the same time. They're just unreasonable. They have um, motives that you don't know. And I feel like you need to protect yourself from this person. This could be a past lover. This could be somebody that you um, were loosely involved with. I'm trying to do this with my head, not my heart, they're saying. So this person here thinks a lot. They're always in their mind. They're always making decisions out of their head and never from their heart. I feel overwhelmed with responsibilities. A lot has happened. I'm not sure how to handle this connection, and I don't know where it fits, they're saying. So this could be somebody that you loosely were involved with, I'm sensing. I feel like this is somebody that you were dating casually, or um, maybe you did have a long-term connection with them, but then a lot changed. They got themselves involved with somebody else, or they have a lot of responsibilities at work, or, or whatever the case is, you know, put it where it fits, but they are weak mentally. This person acts cold and cut off. They act like they're um, in big D energy, but they're really mentally weak. This person is about to break down. I feel they could be with a third party at one point where they were showing them off, trying to make you jealous in some way. This person here um, fell in, falls in love very quickly, either tried to move in with you very quickly or fell in love with a third party. Like one minute you all were good and the next minute they were in love with some third party and they were uh, you know, um, posting on the gram and, and posting things about this person because they were trying to make you jealous. This person only sees things their way though. They don't care if you're hurting. They just want to, you know, they want you to chase them. They want people to chase them. They're, again, we have very logical, cold behavior. This person is very cold and very calculated in their moves. They never do anything out of um, impulse or uh, love. They do everything out of calculation. What is going to, um, you know, make them have a come up? What is going to allow them to better their self? They could be an opportunist. They're sexually frustrated and they could be doing shady things for money somehow. A third party could be doing shady things for money, right? This person feels unlovable. That's why. And they're dealing with addictions. They could deal with a sex addiction, an alcohol addiction, a drug addiction. They could deal with um, codependency in some way right? It may, it, maybe it's not an addiction to um, toxic things, but again, pent up anger, you guys. This person is sexually frustrated. Um, they have unresolved issues big time. And this is why they have lack of empathy. This is why they have anger issues. They're self-neglect here and they're with somebody who thinks they're going to fix them. They're with a third party who thought they were going to be better. They thought that they were going to be able to, to fix this person's issues. Like you weren't man or woman enough or something, right? Like this third party thought, oh, you know, they're never going to treat me this way. They're never going to do this to me. Now this person is sexually frustrated because they're not um, getting what they need from a third party. They are unlikely to changed here. They're unlikely to change, receiving some kind of karma. It is uh, karma time and wanting to call a truce. This person wants a peace offering. They want to agree to disagree. They could do well for themselves. 
They look at you like you're self-reliant, like you're accomplished. Like um, you could be traveling soon. You could be very sophisticated. You could really be a very graceful person. You could do well for yourself and you could have been very loving to this person. Whether you do well financially or you're just a very happy, loving person, you keep a beautiful home, right? You wanted a um, happy home with this person. You wanted love. You're, you were very kind to them. I feel you um, invited them into your life. You invited them into your family here. You could have even introduced them to your children. They were your heart's desire. And this person, because of addictions, pent up anger, self-neglect, um, things just did not go as, as planned. They made you feel like you weren't enough. This person is overwhelmed with their responsibilities, whether they have a family elsewhere or they have a very, um, you know, <clears throat> important job. There's something that's making them have all this pent up anger. They could be doing shady things for money, selling drugs. The third party could be, um, you know, they could have a, um, a page, a OnlyFans page where they do more than just show their self. They could be doing sexual favors. There's some shady uh, gambling, right? They could be a bookie. There's something they do low key that makes them feel overwhelmed. Yeah, it's a, it, it's definitely an ex lover. I feel for a lot of you. This is somebody that you wanted to move into a um, more, you know, not friends with benefits. You wanted to move things further, and this person only gave you a sexual connection because they had all of these unresolved issues. They are very likely to reach out, okay? Very likely you are going to hear from this ex-lover, probably on social media. I feel they're watching your social media. They could be watching you boss up. I feel something has changed in your life, better job, better home, better car. Something has gotten better for you, and this person here is watching it. They are neglecting their self. They're angry. They're sexually frustrated. They have unresolved issues. Please be careful when this person comes back in because they are heading your direction. Yeah, abundance and luck. You are experiencing some kind of good karma from going through this situation. They want to come in now and be romantic, be sweet. They want to give you um, your flowers, but I don't know, is it too late? Luck and money, baby. If you have not started to see an increase in your money yet, if you haven't started to see an increase yet, you're going to, trust me, you're going to see a huge increase in your money coming up very soon. Your finances are going to look fabulous. I would say by the end of April, if you all haven't seen an increase yet, you're about to. Something really good because of dealing with this person, because of dealing with their, their issues, their addictions, their, their behavior, their lack of empathy for you, lack of um, caring, lack of love, you're going to have a major blessing come in. Do Start doing very well for yourself in some way. I feel this person rejected you. And now they're losing patience, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This person is losing patience. They've been taking their good old time, but they're losing patience big time. You could be a water sign. You could be an earth sign. They could be. Um, yeah, wow. They, they definitely ten of swords you, but you're going to stand up and pull these ten swords out and patch them up one at a time. Start loving yourself again and do not allow this person to come in here and take you back down. I feel this person took you very far. They really, with their player ass ways, they ghosted. They took you um, to places where you didn't even realize you would go. You were vibrating very low and you're starting to come out of that. So please be mindful that if this person ghosted you and acted like a player like it seems, that this is what you're going to get when they come back in. They are unchanged. Now, I believe in redemption. I do. But you've got to want to change. But guess what? What have I been saying? The divine is blessing you. Ace of coins. Ace of pentacles. You are going to receive some blessing straight out of the sky. It's going to be like, oh my gosh, where did this come from? Maybe your numbers will come in. Maybe you will... Um, get a bonus from work. Yes. Heal. Spirit is saying continue to heal because this person's still coming in here, lying, sneaking. They could be sneaking away from a different situation. Um, and there needs to be a completion here. 
you could be a fixed sign. They could be a fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio. Um, they could definitely be an air sign here. Be careful, okay, because this person could come back in and you could have to pay their karma off. You're being guided here to put up good boundaries. Make sure you're using healthy boundaries here. We have fire in the house um, because this person is still foolish, Aquarius energy, and still confused, using their head, not their heart, like they said. So whatever they're coming in here to do or say, it is all out of motive. It, it is all because they have a, some motive behind this. Maybe they see that you're doing well and they want to try to get some of that um, bag. Maybe they need a place to live. Maybe they, you know, they need a ride to work. I don't know. This person is going to need something from you because that's how they are. They're hiding something too. They could still be with a third party. So be careful, okay? Tell me, Spirit, how is this going to end? How, what is the projected outcome? Pure seduction. But you going through a resurrection, you having a second chance at life, standing in your power. Yeah, your heart, you're just feeling burdened by this person. They're going to try, look at this, pure seduction and burning passion. How this is going to end, this person is going to want to hook up with you. They feel, because they're very sexually frustrated, they feel if they can dick you down or, or put it down on you, they feel like they could get you back is what they're feeling. They feel like if they could come in here and um, really you know, put it down on you and be very romantic and be very intense while you all are making love that you could, they could get you back into their trap, but they have something they're hiding. So please be careful and mindful of this. I wish you all the best here and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Dag yourself every day and every way. I get better and better. I am a winner. All I do is win. Love and light.